dozens of dogs for a day of fun and philanthropy. Bess Casserly was there to get the scoop. <laughs> Man's best friend overran Hiller Park this Saturday morning. The dogs and their people came out to participate in the first ever Mutts for Peace dog show. The show featured an agility course with a certified AKC trainer and several contests, including Ugliest Dog, which, after some fierce competition, turned out to be a Chinese crested mix named Watson. You're not ugly. No, of course you're not. You're handsome. <laughs> and the brainchild behind the whole event? Dog shows are always for, like, purebreds, and so I thought that maybe we should have a mutt dog show instead. Ten-year-old Emily Fitzhugh, who wanted to celebrate the tramps in a world full of ladies. They're just mixed breeds, and one of the dogs could be so good, and the other one and whenever you put them together, it's just like the best dog in the world. With her father's help, she decided to make the day about more than just the dogs, but also peace. All proceeds from the silent auction will benefit the Children's International Summer Village. It is a um, children's peace education organization that's been on the Gulf Coast for over 50 years. This year, it's our turn to host a uh, four-week international camp for 11-year-olds. They're going to be coming to us from 12 different countries for four weeks. The money raised will go toward housing expenses. Reporting in Biloxi, Bess Casserly, WLOX News Now. And some of the dogs pictured in this story are available for adoption at the Jackson County Animal Shelter. Just a great day for all those events in South Mississippi. And there is the question.